Tariq Ali, Punjabi, Urdu, Tariq Lee born 21 October 1943 is a British Pakistani writer, journalist, historian, filmmaker, political activist, and public intellectual. He is a member of the editorial committee of the New Left Review and Sin Permiso, and contributes to The Guardian, Counterpunch, and the London Review of Books. He read PPE at Exeter College, Oxford. He is the author of several books, including Pakistan, Military Rule or People's Power 1970, Can Pakistan Survive? The Death of a State 1983, Clash of Fundamentalisms, Crusades, Jihads and Modernity 2002, Bush in Babylon 2003, Conversations with Edward Said 2005, Pirates of the Caribbean, Axis of Hope 2006, A Banker for All Seasons 2007, The Duel 2008, The Obama Syndrome 2010, and The Extreme Center, A Warning 2015. Early life Ali was born and raised in Lahore, Punjab in British India later part of Pakistan. He is the son of journalist Mazar Ali Khan and activist mother Tahira Mazar Ali Khan, who was the daughter of Sir Sikandar Hayat Khan, who led the Unionist Muslim League and was later Prime Minister of the Punjab from 1937 to 1942. Ali's father, Mazar, had been "...mobilizing peasants in his family's fiefdom." When he was invited to join the Pakistan Times by Mian Iftikharuddin, later becoming sympathetic to the communist cause, although he never joined the party, Ali's father and mother, who were cousins, eloped, his mother later said, "'Mazar left for the Middle East on military service. I was very pregnant by then. We didn't see each other for two years. Our son Tariq was born while Mazar was away. By the time he returned, I had joined the Communist Party. I had given away my entire trousseau, including the family jewels, to the party. <inaudible> Emerging activism Ali first became politically active in his teens, taking part in opposition to the military dictatorship of Pakistan. An uncle who worked in the Pakistani military intelligence warned his parents that Ali could not be protected. His parents therefore decided to get him out of Pakistan and sent him to England to study at Exeter College, Oxford, where he studied philosophy, politics, and economics. He was elected president of the Oxford Union in 1965. In 1967 Ali was one of 64 prominent figures, including the Beatles, who signed a petition calling for the legalization of marijuana. Ali's tenure at the Union included a meeting with Malcolm X in December 1964 during which Malcolm X expressed deep consternation about his own risk of assassination. Career His public profile began to grow during the Vietnam War, when he engaged in debates against the war with such figures as Henry Kissinger and Michael Stewart. He testified at the Russell Tribunal over U.S. involvement in Vietnam. As time passed, Ali became increasingly critical of American and Israeli foreign policies. He was also a vigorous opponent of American relations with Pakistan that tended to back military dictatorship over democracy. He was one of the marchers on the American Embassy in London in 1968 in a demonstration against the Vietnam War. Active in the New Left of the 1960s, he has long been associated with the New Left Review. Ali inserted himself into politics through his involvement with the Black Dwarf newspaper. He joined the International Marxist Group (IMG) in 1968. He was recruited to the leadership of the IMG and became a member of the International Executive Committee of the Reunified Fourth International. He also befriended influential figures such as Malcolm X, Stokely Carmichael, John Lennon, and Yoko Ono. In 1967, Ali was in Camiri, Bolivia, not far from where Che Guevara was captured, to observe the trial of Regis Debray. He was accused of being a Cuban revolutionary by authorities. Ali then said, If you torture me the whole night and I can speak Spanish in the morning, I'll be grateful to you for the rest of my life. During this period he was an IMG candidate in Sheffield Adercliffe at the February 1974 general election and was co-author of Trotsky for Beginners, a cartoon book. In 1981, Ali quit the IMG and joined the Labour Party to support Tony Benn in his bid to become deputy leader of the Labour Party. In 1990, he published the satire Redemption, on the inability of the Trotskyists to handle the downfall of the Eastern Bloc. 
The book contains parodies of many well-known figures in the Trotskyist movement. In 1999 Ali strongly criticized US and UK interventions in the Balkans in the peace springtime for NATO. His book, Clash of Fundamentalisms, aimed to put the events of the September 11th attacks in historical perspective. He followed that with Bush in Babylon, which criticized the 2003 invasion of Iraq by American President George W. Bush. The book uses poetry and critical essays in portraying the war in Iraq as a failure. Ali believes that the new Iraqi government will fail. Ali has remained a critic of modern neoliberal economics and was present at the 2005 World Social Forum in Porto Alegre, Brazil, where he was one of 19 to sign the Porto Alegre Manifesto. He supports the model of Bolivarian Revolution in Venezuela. He has been described as the alleged inspiration for the Rolling Stones song, Street Fighting Man, recorded in 1968. John Lennon's Power to the People was inspired by an interview Lennon gave to Ali. Ali has also written in favour of Scottish independence. During the United Kingdom European Union membership referendum, 2016, Ali was one of the few figures on the left to support Britain leaving the European Union. Screenplay Tariq Ali's The Leopard and the Fox, first written as a BBC screenplay in 1985, is about the last days of Dufakar Ali Bhutto. Never previously produced because of a censorship controversy, it was finally premiered in New York in October 2007, the day before former Pakistani Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto returned to her home country after eight years in exile. In 2009, Ali, alongside Mark Weisbrot, wrote the screenplay to the Oliver Stone documentary South of the Border. This gave a favorable account of Hugo Chavez and other left wing Latin American leaders. Interviewed in the documentary, Ali explained the role that Bolivian water privatization and the 2000 Cochabamba protests played in eventually bringing Evo Morales to power. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Ali currently lives in Highgate, North London, with his partner Susan Watkins, editor of the New Left Review. He has three children, Natasha from a previous relationship, and Cengiz and Aisha with Watkins. Growing up in a secular family that was more culturally Muslim rather than religious, today he describes himself as agnostic. Works partial list. The New Revolutionaries, a Handbook of the International Radical Left Editor, New York, William Morrow and Company, Inc., 1969. Library of Congress Catalog Card No. 79-79860 Pakistan, Military Rule or People's Power 1970. ISBN 978-0-224-61864-9 The Coming British Revolution 1971. ISBN 978-0-224-00630-9 1968 and After, Inside the Revolution 1978. ISBN 978-0-85634-082-6 Chile, Lessons of the Coup, Which Way to Workers' Power 1978. ISBN 978-0-85612-107-4 Trotsky for Beginners 1980. ISBN 978-0-906495-27-8 Can Pakistan Survive? The Death of a State 1983. ISBN 978-0-8052-7194-2 1991 ISBN 978-0-86091-260-6 Who's Afraid of Margaret Thatcher? In Praise of Socialism 1984. ISBN 978-0-86091-802-8 The Stalinist Legacy, Its Impact on Twentieth-Century World Politics 1984. ISBN 978-0-931477-56-0 An Indian Dynasty, The Story of the Nehru Gandhi Family 1985. ISBN 978-0-399-13074-8 Street Fighting Years, an autobiography of the 60s 1987. ISBN 978-0-00-217779-5 Revolution from Above, Soviet Union Now 
ISBN 978-0-86091-268-2 Iranian Nights ISBN 978-1-85459-026-8 Moscow Gold ISBN 978-1-85459-078-7 Redemption ISBN 978-0-7011-3394-8 Shadows of the Pomegranate Tree first in the «Islam Quintet» ISBN 978-0-7011-3944-5 Necklaces Ugly Rumors ISBN 978-1-85459-426-6 1968, Marching in the Streets 1998. ISBN 978-0-7475-3763-2 Fear of Mirrors Arcadia Books the 4th of August 1998. ISBN 978-1-900850-10-0, University of Chicago Press the 10th of August 2010. ISBN 978-1-906497-15-6 the Book of Saladin 1998, second in the Islam Quintet. ISBN 978-1-85984-834-0. Snogging Ken 2000. ISBN 978-1-84002-163-9. The Stone Woman 2000, third in the Islam Quintet. ISBN 978-1-85984-764-0. Masters of the Universe, NATO's Balkan Crusade 2000. ISBN 978-1-85984-752-7 Clash of Fundamentalisms, Crusades, Jihads and Modernity 2002. ISBN 978-1-85984-679-7 Bush in Babylon 2003. ISBN 978-1-85984-583-7 Street Fighting Years, An Autobiography of the Sixties ISBN 978-1-84467-029-1 Speaking of Empire and Resistance, Conversations with Tariq Ali ISBN 978-1-56584-954-9 Rough Music, Blair, Bombs, Baghdad, London, Terror 2005. ISBN 978-1-84467-545-6 Conversations with Edward Said 2005. ISBN 978-1-905422-04-3 The Sultan in Palermo 2005, featuring Muhammad al-Adrisi and Roger II of Sicily, fourth in the Islam Quintet. ISBN 978-1-84467-025-3 The Leopard and the Fox 2006. ISBN 978-1-905422-29-6 Pirates of the Caribbean, Axis of Hope 2006. ISBN 978-1-84467-102-1, Revised EDN, 2008. ISBN 978-1-84467-248-6 A Banker for All Seasons, Bank of Crooks and Cheats Inc. 2007. ISBN 978-1-905422-65-4 The Assassination, Who Killed Indira G. 2008 ISBN 978-1-905422-85-2 the Duel, Pakistan on the Flight Path of American Power 2008. ISBN 978-1-84737-355-7 The Protocols of the Elders of Sodom, and Other Essays 2009. ISBN 978-1-84467-367-4 The Idea of Communism Nonfiction 2009. ISBN 978-1-906497-26-2 Night of the Golden Butterfly 2010, fifth in the «Islam Quintet» ISBN 978-1-84467-611-8 
The Obama Syndrome, Surrender at Home, War Abroad 2010, ISBN 978-1-84467-449-7 On History, Tariq Ali and Oliver Stone in Conversation 2011, ISBN 978-1-60846-149-3 Kashmir: The Case for Freedom 2011 ISBN 1-844-67735-4 The Extreme Center: A Warning 2015 ISBN 9781784782627 Permanent Counter Revolution 2016 ISBN 9781784784784 the Dilemmas of Lenin, Terrorism, War, Empire, Love, Revolution 2017, ISBN 978-1-78663-110-7 See also List of British Pakistanis References Topic. External links Tariq Ali official webpage Appearances on C-SPAN Tariq Ali at the International Literature Festival Berlin